Hey guys, welcome back. I don't even remember what I got. New Real Techniques brushes. I love felt tip eyeliners. I ended up putting it on today. It's worth trying. I love the original, so I figured I'd try this one. Oh, I got actually the same ones. Hmm, who has time for that? Alright, so moving on with the haul, and next one is Rite Aid. So I did get a quite a few things from Rite Aid as well. First, I'm gonna start out with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, and I have already owned this and I had to repurchase it. Um, the front is a little bit messy um, because my daughter was eating a sucker and she got it all filthy, nasty, sticky, and I just haven't cleaned it up yet. That's the way us moms roll. So the next one is also a repurchase as well, and this is the Pond's Luminous Moisture Day Lotion. And I got this for $1.87. So this is what it looks like. Again, $1.87. It was on clearance, which makes me think that this is going to be not sold anymore. So I was really sad, but hey, I got it for two bucks. Can't beat that, right? So I got myself that, and then I also got a couple more things that were on clearance, which were really, really good prices. This is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream, and this is in the shade Medium. I got this for $3.24. Can I get a yes, please? I mean, I've heard so many good things about this BB Cream um, in the past. I think it's probably been like a year, two years, or something like that since I heard about it, but why not? It's a BB Cream and it was $3.24, so hey, why not? And the last thing that I got on clearance was the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream, and this is in light to medium. I love Olay products. They are absolutely amazing. And the tag like kind of half ripped up. I'm assuming that it was like $3.50 or something like that. So this is what this one looks like. So I'm super excited to play around with those new BB creams because who can go wrong with BB creams? You can never have enough. For those no makeup makeup days or those lazy days or whatever, if you just not feeling super into wearing makeup that day, BB creams aren't my best friend. Okay, so another repurchase. Oh, this was actually on clearance as well. So Rite Aid has gotten rid of most of their, well, all of their uh, NYC stuff. So all their NYC polishes were the last things that were left standing. And you know, it was only 49 cents. So this is the long wearing top coat. So that's what this looks like. And if you're wondering what's on my nails, it is um, the Wet n Wild 99 cent one, but just in the plain black. I don't know, I'll have everything listed down below. Okay, so the next one is, if you guys don't read the Sunday paper or get coupons, um, a couple weeks ago there was a buy one, get one free, buy one Revlon eyeliner and get a Revlon mascara for free. So that's what I did. I picked up two and there weren't really any new things out. So I just decided to pick whatever up. This is the Revlon um, Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner and I got mine in blackout. They did have a bunch of different colors, but I figured I'm just going to stick with the one that I know that I'm going to use and it is black. So always looking for good um, felt tip or liquid eyeliners. I love them. Of course, I will never ever put down my Maybelline um, Eye Studio gel liner, but you know, you always need a good liquid liner as well. So like trying new ones out. And then for free, I got a Revlon mascara, and this is the Revlon Bold Lacquer Grow Luscious Length and Volume Mascara, and of course, I got mine in blackest black. Now this, again, neither of these products are new. They are newer to the line, but they are definitely not new. But if you guys would like to see uh, first impressions or anything like that, you know, to let me know below. And the last thing I got from Rite Aid is a makeup remover. Um, they had like a buy one, get one 50% off, and then I had some coupons on Neutrogena so I got the oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena and I actually haven't tried this eye makeup remover I really don't like makeup removers because most of them claim that they're not oily but they're all really oily so I don't know I just don't really understand oil oil-free makeup removers um, I get my makeup and my eye makeup um, off with just a makeup 
towelette, like a makeup remover wipe, and washing my face. Um, th this just leaves my face looking and feeling really oily, but I figured I will try one out because they are not all the same. So I got this one by Neutrogena and it was only half off. So who can go wrong there, right? Okay, my last drugstore bag, which is Target. And then I have some randoms that I just kind of threw in a box that I got for Christmas. And then of course my Sephora stuff. So we all want to see that. I know this is a drugstore channel, but every once in a while I do like to spoil myself, okay? Okay, so the first thing, I'll just get the most boring things out of the way first. These are makeup remover wipes. These are the Garnier, the new ones, the Soothing Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes, removes waterproof makeup with no rubbing, calm skin, and it's for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin personally, but they said new on the package and they had a whole display on them so it suckered me in I have to admit um, and yeah so I've never tried these before never even used them before if you guys have used them before make sure you let me know how you like them down below another thing that I got is a brush and this is the flawless concealer brush by elf and this is what it looks like um, I have never seen this brush before I don't usually go to Target because it's like I mean, it's not that far away from me, but it is compared to like going to Rite Aid just down the street or Walgreens just down the street or Fred Meyers. So if I'm going out there, it's like kind of by the mall. So it's like 20 minutes away or something like that. So I don't really go out there unless I'm going to the mall or something, which is rarely ever. So I haven't really seen this one, but I figured this would be so perfect for um, setting my under eye or even like buffing out um, concealer. The, um, it's just like a small domed brush it's too big to fit in the eye obviously it, like covers my whole eye so I'm not thinking blending brush but I figured it would be absolutely perfect to get right up in there and set my under eye with like a translucent powder or a reflecting powder or something like that so I'm really excited to try this one out again it's the flawless concealer brush and this is what it looks like it's pretty thick pretty dense and uh I don't know. It's really soft. So I'm excited to try that out. So next I got some makeup things. I got two new things from NYC. I got the NYC Smooth Skin BB Cream, the 5-in-1 Instant Matte Skin Perfector. Wow, that was a lot to say for some reason. And I got mine in the shade Medium. So this is what it looks like. I feel like so many places are coming, like so many makeup brands are coming out with so many face products. It's really exciting for me because I love drugstore makeup. Again, this is a drugstore channel and the more drugstore makeup that comes out, the more videos that I can put out. So I love drugstore makeup. I love when they come out with new things. So along with that, I did get the new um, NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder. And I figured, I think they do have a bronzer, but I decided to get the powder because like the Maybelline and the Revlon and now the NYC I want to try out the foundation with the powder because if they're sold like together then they should be used together right so I did get these two and this one is the radiance one I'm pretty sure the other one was a bronzer and this is in naturally beige so these are what those look like Excited to try NYC. I, I mean, excited to try the NYC BB Cream. I love NYC. It's super inexpensive. And most of the time, it is pretty good. So... I like it. And then the next was another repurchase. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And mine is almost gone. So I decided to get a brand new one. Super pretty. Oh, I love new makeup items. But mine hit pan like majorly and I feel like it can break at any moment. And then I'm not going to have like one of my favorite bronzers. So I just picked up a new one because they're really expensive anyways. So the next thing I got is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I believe this is in black is black. Um, spoiler alert, I did do a video or first impressions um, with this mascara. That's why it's not in its package anymore. So while getting ready, I decided to throw it on and fill while I was doing it so it's going to be a first impressions and that video should be up right after this one so super excited to put that up for you guys and see what you guys think of it and then the last two things are lip products um, I decided to pick up a Maybelline what are these things called the Maybelline uh not vivids but you know like the ones in the purple packaging I have never tried any of them so I just decided to try one even though they're all gonna be good because they're Maybelline and Maybelline puts out really good lipsticks but this is 745 
peach poppy and I just thought this color was super super gorgeous it's going to be so stinking pretty for summer and spring it's just a really pretty like corally peachy color and so that is what that looks like it's not too much of like a color statement but it's enough to just bring life into your face and say hello it's summertime get on it I just love it I love this color super excited to try it on and wear it and the last one that I got is um, another NYX butter glasses you guys know that I love these butter glasses this is in maple blondie and I love this like I have like right as soon as I got these two things I put them on together and they are absolutely stunning they go perfectly together so this is maple blondie right here and like I just feel like over the top of that peach poppy color like seriously they're like pretty much the same color except one's a gloss and one's lipstick like that's the two of them put together is that not so pretty like as soon as i picked these up i put them on right before i walked into the mall and i was like yes like every time i looked in the mirror i was like yes i love this so much so speaking of the mall i did have a sephora gift card like i was saying at the beginning of the video and so i went and picked up a few things and if you guys didn't know from my um i think i have only one high-end drugstore haul my favorite high-end makeup brand is NARS I don't know I just like gravitate towards NARS I think all the NARS products are absolutely amazing and they're just so dang expensive like I just cannot handle like how expensive they are but here is my little bag uh, my mom every year will for the last couple years has gotten me a Sephora gift card because she knows that I myself can't, out, can't go out and purchase you know, from Sephora all the time. So I did get one thing that I was eyeing and I'm sure you guys have seen it. This is the NARS uh, Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Perfector. So that's what this looks like. And I used this the other night. Um, I went on like a date night with my boyfriend and we went out and I used it and I have to say, no creasing. I have like this thing and I don't know, maybe I like do this facial expression all the time, but I have these two lines like right here where my eyebrows go right here and my makeup settles in every single time I wear makeup it always settles in those spots like no matter what and so I thought like hey like I've seen Jaclyn Hill use this like all the time in most of her videos I want to try it out specifically for that spot because my makeup always settles in that spot so of course I got it and I used it and this is what it looks like it's just like a stick that you just um put onto your skin let me see if I could do this better it's just a stick that you put onto your skin it's clear and you just rub it in very very smooth it's not too oily or greasy like um, I put it like right here um, where I have like those lines right here like where my eyebrows like make that weird facial mean expression and then I also put it on like the sides of my nose and like down around my mouth and it was it didn't make me too oily like it actually really worked like every time I went to look in the mirror my makeup was not settling in the fine lines like at all I I really 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 like it I definitely think it was worth the money because I haven't found anything like that at the drugstore and you know that I am for or drugstore makeup like anything that you can get at Sephora or Ulta you can get in the drugstore except this this is like one thing that I am so happy that I spent the money on because I haven't found a product like it in the drugstore yet so I really really like this and since it was my birthday in December and I think I went like at the beginning of January they still ended up giving me a birthday gift which I was not expecting at all so they gave me this little gift it's the NARS Sephora Beauty Insider and it comes with with two little NARS um, lip pencils I think those are I don't know I haven't even opened this it says happy birthday one year older so let's go ahead and swatch these swatch these things so they are they're so adorable I love them I've never used a NARS um, lip product before you know me I'm all about like if I'm gonna spend the money I'm not gonna spend it on lips if it's like at Sephora I'm gonna do the face because face products take me a lot longer to go through than like lip products these are the velvet matte lip lip pencils hmm so this one is in Cruella and this is in <laughs> okay so this is the Cruella velvet matte lip pencil and then this is a satin lip pencil and it's in Rakugan Rakugan 
R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. I don't know how to say that. Whoa, nice, it went down my shirt. Okay, so this is the one that I can't pronounce and this is the satin one, so actually let me take these swatches off first so we can get a real look at it. And we can test out the makeup wipes. Hmm. Ew, they don't smell very nice. So I um, just took a break to go make some dinner. I was washing my hands and I seriously cannot get this Provocalypse swatch off the back of my hand. Like, ugh. like I'm really having to scrub at it and it's still there. Um, so let's just ignore that swatch, okay? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is the satin one and the one that I cannot pronounce. Oh, this is actually a really pretty color. It's not very pigmented though, but it's like very, very subtle. So that's what this one looks like. It's really like a natural pretty color. So, and that is the satin one. And then this is Cruella the matte one, which I just said to you guys that I wasn't really into matte lip products, but this is actually a nice color. Look how deep and dark red that is. That's like a blood red. <sighs> Well, it's like a blood blood red on camera, but it's like a dark burgundy red, like in real life. That is super, super pretty. So, hey, they're free, why not, right? So I'm excited to try those out. I usually do not do any reviews of high-end products on my channel, um, but maybe they'll be in like a favorites video or something like that. But this I already know that I absolutely love. So if you guys were interested in maybe checking it out, the Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Filler, I really, really like it and I definitely think it's worth the money. Okay, so now for this random box of stuff. So these are some things that I got from like Christmas. I know Christmas was like two months ago, um, but I still like haven't showed you guys and I figured if you want like a review or a tutorial, well not really, I don't know, whatever. If you guys like just wanted to know more about it, then I'd just tell you about it. So the first thing that I want to mention is I showed you guys on Instagram. I've been using this for, since I got it like two months ago. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray and this is what it looks like. And I really, really, really like this. Um, I don't know if I would say that it extends the wear of my makeup, but it does blend all the powders in together and just makes my face seem really flawless without the cakiness of a whole bunch of powders on my face. So I really, really do like this. It's, it's a good setting spray. And then I also got for Christmas the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I got the big one, which I did show you guys this in um, one of my Best in Beauty videos. I absolutely love this and I received this for Christmas so this is the all-nighter one not like the chill or whatever other ones that they have okay so the next thing that I want to mention is this um, argan oil from physicians formula which I'm really excited to try out I actually won this in a contest that physicians formula was holding you just had to send in like a beauty tip or something like that so this is the argan wear ultra nourishing argan oil and this is the multitasking miracle moisturizer primer brightener protector treatment so this is what it looks like um, again I'm super excited to try it out because I have never yet and um, I love argan oil for my hair I used to put argan oil in my hair like every couple days especially if I like styled it of course it's not styled today because look at it it's a hot mess um, but I'm super excited to try that for skin and just like hydration for like maybe like a moisturizer or like mix it in with my moisturizer or something like that so the next thing I want to mention is a, another beauty item or makeup item and this I actually received from my mom for Christmas and this is the Mac Pro Longwear paint pot and this is in painterly so this is what it looks like and I'm sure all of you guys know about the Mac painterly paint pot or the paint pots in general um, I used this a couple times I am not too thrilled about it but again I've only used it like once or twice it's really really thick and it's kind of hard to blend out so I'm definitely gonna have to experiment with it I think uh, using a beauty blender would probably be my best option with this thing so the next things I got kind of go hand in hand together and I'm super excited to have this in my possession it is the Travelo refillable perfume spray and this is what it looks like I've seen this all over YouTube and then I also got the juicy couture um, perfume this is not like the Viva Lou juicy this is more like a florally scent it's not so sweet like the other one the last thing that I want to mention is a sunless tanner I was actually contacted by 
buy um, Tanceuticals. So this is what the product looks like. It is a CC corrector. It's like a color corrector tanning, um, tanning lotion self tanner. And mine is in dark. They also sent me the mitt to go along with it. Um, I'm not going to do too much on this because I haven't even tried it and I definitely want to review it and try it out for myself before I actually put a video out there for you. Um, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know that I have received this and I will be doing some testing with this sucker um, because I have never even heard of it. I've never seen it. I went on their website and I seen that it was like a white lotion. So it's just like applying regular lotion to your skin. It takes about eight hours to set. So they said it's best when applied at night and then you can go to sleep, wake up, take a shower and you're going to be bronzed and beautiful. And it also has a color correcting, um, ingredient in here which evens out your skin tone as well as gives you a nice bronze glow to your skin but again I have not touched this product I have not opened it I have not tried it at all so before I do a review or say anything um, positive about it I definitely want to try it for myself but I thought I would give you guys a heads up and tell you guys that I did receive it and that if you guys are interested in seeing a demo or a review or anything like that then I would be more than happy to do so so make sure you let me know in the comments below also speaking about self tanners um, after the next couple videos I do have a sun goddess tanning um, lotion video that I mentioned in one of my last videos um, I think it was like my best in beauty or something like that and I am so stinking excited for it I just have to get the time right on it because it is going to be a demo as well so I definitely want to have time where I can sit down do the demo do the application as well as do the review and um, do my special surprise as well at the end of the video so definitely be expecting that soon I don't want to give myself a time limit because like I said with this whole workout program thing that I got going on um, my time management is not very good I think that's all I have to say for this video again I am so sorry that it's so long I had so much to show you guys and I'm not trying to brag or um, say hey look what I got I just want to show you guys because I if you guys would like to see a first impressions or a review or a demo or anything like that more information on a specific product I definitely want to do that especially when it comes to first impressions because obviously I don't want to touch the product or put it on my skin or anything like that without being in front of a camera first so you guys can see my first real first impression so <clears throat> definitely let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to see more videos like this and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video thanks everybody